What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today was, I thought, going to be a slow news day, but it actually turned out to be different because we got an update over the air with a brand new registry family page. Now, if you go to your uh, registry and you go all the way over to Magical Games and Sports and scroll to the bottom, you are going to be able to see this page, as you can see on the screen now. Now, the cool thing about it is that it is not just... Uh, a Gryffindor based page like a lot of what I've seen in the past feels like it's just fan service to Gryffindor students and Gryffindor fans but on this page we actually have two Slytherin students a Hufflepuff a Slytherin banner and then of course Madam Hooch herself will be here and we'll talk about that in just a second um, but I'm excited because again like we talked about earlier when I was going over the, the month of May overview um, I wasn't sure when these pages were going to launch, so I didn't know when exactly to have this video prepared, but I'm getting to do it on the fly now, which is really exciting. So I am excited because Quidditch Foundables, first of all, are here. Second of all, they are really freaking cool. I've already actually encountered Marcus Flint, as you can see on the screen now. And I've also seen videos and pictures all over Twitter of people seeing Cedric Diggory and also seeing Madam Hooch and all of those new Foundables. Now, those are going to be in the wild. I am assuming that Draco Malfoy will be in the wild. Uh, Cedric Diggory and Marcus Flint have already been spotted as well as Madam Hooch, but one foundable that I'm not sure about for this page is the Slytherin banner. Now, if you scroll up a page, you can actually see on the Gryffindor page that the banner is a fortress foundable fragment, and I assume that it will be the same for this particular page just to a, you know, follow suit. And also if you take a look at the fa uh, fragment counts, you only have to get five for that particular foundable. So it would make sense that that one is the fortress foundables. Now, I know that these numbers don't match up with the brand new aspect of the registry. They don't match up with the uh, the fragment designations, I guess, if you want to call it that, that they released with 2.13. And my assumption is that this is because that was created or it was hard coded into the actual game itself before 2.13 rolled out. Um, like I said, I was aware that a new page would be coming out at the beginning of the month, didn't know when, but that means that it is probably older and has been in the system or actually in the game files for quite some time. So just to keep you aware that the fragment counts may change. Um, I'm waiting for confirmation from phases on that. I don't know one way or the other if the fragment counts are going to change or if they're just gonna stay the same. And then from here on out, every new page will be different and will be, um, I guess, kept within those bounds of the new designations for the update 2.3 and all that good stuff. So I am excited for these fragments. I know that this isn't going to be a crazy long video, but it's new things to chase, new things to look out for. And slowly but surely, this Magical Games and Sports page is actually catching up to Legends of Hogwarts in regards to most pages and most fortress uh, foundables. So that's kind of tricky and uh, might, might, you know, require a little bit of a specific grind there. So um, I did want to drop this and let you guys know if you haven't been able to play the game yet or you haven't been able to update, make sure you download the assets first. And after you download the assets, you should be able to see these in the wild. I actually dropped a tonic and saw uh, one Marcus Flint, and um, I haven't seen anybody else yet. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully we can find Madam Hooch, or even you know Cedric or Draco again. Marcus would be cool to see again, because we've got to get all these fragments to fill up this page. So um, yeah, I'm excited about it. I hope that you guys are excited about it as well. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think, if you're excited for new fragments, so new foundables to chase. I, for one, am still waiting on those foundables from uh, like the circus calamitous to come out like I really want to chase after that Zulu I love those pages I love those foundables so much the zoo is probably still one of my favorite foundables of all time but of course I'm high for Quidditch foundables because I love Quidditch so very much so um, yeah so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update if you didn't know already very exciting news and very exciting stuff inside Wizards Unite make sure you leave a thumbs up down below if you haven't already as well as clicking that red subscribe button and ring those bell notifications so you're made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content hopefully tomorrow or Friday I will be able to do a community day preparation stream 
where I go through each individual registry page and prepare to find those Fortress foundables that I need. Um, and that will be a shareable Google sheet that I'll have for the community as well that I'm really excited to have for you guys too. So make sure you ring those bell notifications so you know when I go live and all of that good stuff. And that is it for today. Tell me what you think down below. And until next time, peace.